Welcome guys to this YouTube video. Um, if you saw my last video, I went over Nike's first ever boot made. Um, and it got me thinking and I wanted to just kind of share my thoughts and see you know what you guys think. Actually, I wish I could talk with you guys live or if you guys commented or whatever. Um, but seeing this boot, you know, made me realize how far Nike has come. I have a few different models um, that they've kind of released. I think it covers pretty much all of them that they've done um, for the most part. <laughs> I do have other Nike boots that I just don't have room on my little table here. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about this boot and how we got from this all the way to this. Um, and it's, it's, it's really, you know, mind blowing to think about, you know, this was, you know, a heavy, we had conical studs that most, this was probably this was the sole plate that like every soccer shoe had, you know, during that time. Um, maybe the materials just changed on it a little bit, but for the most part, this is almost the same across every um, boot that you had. But then if you look, you know, um, times have just changed. This was, this is a temple, um, still kangaroo leather, went from calfskin to a kangaroo leather upper, um, which is mine is sadly falling apart unless someone knows how to fix this type of stuff. Let me know, because I took good care of the leather. So plate, obviously, that's what happens when shoes. Um, so a newer concept of um, a throwback shoe, classic shoe, with modern details to it. And this is the Premier um, Kangaroo Leather in the front that is pretty soft. Um, just a boot that if you want something traditional, but with new, this is really light. This will get you by. Um, I, my thing would be to put something like this or the new temple, but give me the stud pattern um, from Vapor. That's what I want to do. I wish I could do that myself. I would like to see how that performs. Although the temple, I should have brought the temple out here. This the newer versions. Um, those, this, the sole plate performs performs well as well, but I still would like a, something a little bit more aggressive. Um, so anyway, so then when you went from this Obviously they had other, you know, um, shoes uh, The premiere that was in 94 um, You know and that kind of launched a Nike from this horrendous boot. I guess disappointment um, In 94 you had Brazil eight players wearing that other 22 that went, when they won the World Cup So that kind of helped start it and then you had Ronaldo the phenomenal um, come in, in his uh, first Mercurial, which was actually the Mercurial was intended to be, uh, you know, it was supposed to branch off from the Temple, and you saw how far the difference they were between boots. If if you follow, you know, if you're into boots and stuff, you know that how different ways they've gone from you know a leather to that Mercurial having a synthetic upper that you know kind of was like leather, and then they will jump from the the synthetic leather to a Tajan synthetic and if I'm not mistaken um, what I read is that Tajan isn't something that is Nike's it's not Nike's like their product it's Tajan is like a whole separate thing um, but they just use it for their boots and they no longer um, decided to I don't know keep their partnership with that company so they had to go to now this is um, not the full flying it, but they're flying it in this. I should have grabbed the other Mercurial. Um, this has leather on top of it. Kangaroo, they say. I don't know what type of leather this is, um, but still a good boot. So then they went to the flying it editions, um, and now you went away from the flying it to this the vapor posit. Um, I think it says it. Yeah, it says it there. Um, so I don't know how I feel. I don't know wh which one I would pick if I got to actually If I was gonna get sponsored by Nike and they said you can pick whatever shoe you want mm, Honestly personally, I would want a leather mercurial 
if it was up to me. Um, let's see, do I have the other? Ah, it's over there. The the 13, for some reason, Nike released two um, tech crafts. Um, I feel like they did not um, accept the... A lot of people did not like the first tech craft, Mercurial 13. That was all leather. So then they came back with this one. Sorry, I blacked it out. Um, but you can kind of see the Nike sign in the back. And they went ahead and put the King of Leather on top of the flying it. Um, I guess it works. It feels comfortable. It feels nice. But I still prefer the first tech craft if I'm going with leather. So that would be nice if they could figure out how to keep it tight to my foot. Because I like this one just because it has a tighter ankle. That's where I feel loose. I, I don't like my boots to really feel tight around my foot. It's just around my ankle. And that's what I didn't like about the Mercurials with the Tajin. I really love the Vapor 3. I'm dumb and I gave those away. I wish I should have kept them because I could have kept them. They came out the same year as this. Same time and I still have this one. Um, and I should have kept that Vapor. But I gave it away and lesson learned. I don't know why I regret it every day that I think about my boots um, and uh, so yeah but this is still a nice boot um, again now you have basically the Mercurial Vapor and the Superfly are the same it's the same boot it's just that the <laughs> Mercurial looks more like this you know than having this so you add that a little bit but whatever same it's the same boot um i wish they would have kept the concept when they did when they were doing the the 10 and the 11 where superfly was a flying it and then this was the tajin because then you could pick i i would rather prefer nike i know you're not listening to this and you don't give a crap um but personally how they give you know i love how they give us the nike id for a very long time that stays usually that would be cut off right away they didn't leave it up but you know you can still this has been out already for a while the the 14 and the the 8 vapor or Mercur, superfly 8 and they still let you um nike id your own colors and stuff but what i would like to for nike to add even if it took longer even if it took me six months to a year to order my shoe if i could design one of their new shoes rather it be a temple whatever it be a mercurio specifically the mercurio let's say um and i would want them to let me pick my material rather i want tajin let's say rather i want you know a, 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 a calfskin leather a kangaroo leather or the vapor whatever you know the vapor posit or a flying it I wish I could pick, you know, and they would make it. They do do that for pros. I don't know if Nike does it, but I do know um, some of the some of the players do wear a different upper based on what they like. So let's say there's a Mercurial, but the but the athlete wanted a leather one. They would make it for them. So I wish we could get that. That you know, that would be that would be nice. Um, oh yeah, let me see. I do have this. This is one that one of Nike's new models that I didn't show here that's kind of different upper um, I don't know how good it works I, th I think most of the marketing stuff is just gimmicks that's just my opinion you know about that the Phantom GT um, but yeah so that's something that I would like Nike to do is let us also pick um the materials that we want i know that'll never happen and you know who are we right we don't we don't get paid to play we pay to play and we pay to buy our boots but here we are um but it was interesting to think that we went from here and we had to go through all this stuff to get to here really this is this is nike's you know model right when you think of nike i'm pretty sure you think of mercurial you don't think about this I mean, you really don't think about the the Premier, you know, a, a leather with synthetic upper. Um, I mean, a lot of people did like the Tajin, um, but yeah, either way, you're still thinking about Mercurial no matter what. Um, or 
if if we can't design our materials can we maybe we could ask for like for them to bring back certain you know silos or certain um material boots that would be nice maybe not this color a lot of people might like this boot but maybe not this color so maybe you could get um different colors and stuff that would be something that i would personally love and i don't see that happening but uh, let me know what you guys think or let me know which has been your favorite nike boot or even if you've liked a comp another company's boots now you know i don't really i wish i could get my hands on other boots but you know working for a company as nike you know I, I feel loyal to them and i pretty much stay loyal to them so i only review their boots and yeah i don't really get to try other boots but if you tried other boots that you like more maybe you don't really like the mercury maybe you like a puma ultra or, or a predator or something like that but let me know what you think or in general let me know if you think that boots have evolved for the better for the worse do you prefer something more old school or do you like something more new school yeah that's that's a pretty good question too um i like a little bit in between i really enjoy the new stuff but I really love the old stuff. I feel like my age route, my age limit, I'm at that like right before they started bringing out. Um, Cause they started releasing the synthetic stuff in 1998. Um, and they've always had leather stuff with it, but you know, they kind of pushed that away. And it's kind of sucks that they've made you believe that leather is for defenders or is for people that just, you know, in my league, if you're wearing the Copas, Copa Mundiales, is because you're an older player or whatever. But I think you can still wear any. You can if you're. It don't matter if you're 50 years old. You can wear a Mercurial. It don't matter if you're 17, 18. You can wear a Copa. It's just wear whatever you like. Wear what you want. Um, and I feel like marketing and everything they've pushed it down our throat to believe that no you can only wear a certain shoe because of the position or because you're fast or because you want good control you want good touch the shoe does not make the player um and i've had this argument with people on youtube when people are asking like what should i what should what shoe should i wear for position or or my style of play and i tell them wear whatever's comfortable for you that's that's all that's all that matters if you can i guarantee if ronaldo right now puts this on his feet if messi puts this on his feet on their feet they're going to be the same player i mean granted sometimes being comfortable matters a lot um and the right you know studs having the right studs for the field that does matter but as far as what shoe you got to wear and don't don't pay attention to that wear what you like wear what you want wear what's comfortable um but yeah <laughs> that's how i wanted to say talk about i'm looking at all this stuff and i'm just like wow it's pretty nice you know i guess it's like cell phones cars everything evolves and technically stuff's supposed to get better but there's always those people who love the classics and i love my classics and i love the new stuff i'm just lucky to be able to enjoy both but with that being said guys we'll see you guys in the next video peace